atmosphere a little bit at the expense of Councillor Bill Cashmore. <laughs> Happy birthday. Councillor Billy Cashmore is turning 75 today. Woohoo! <laughs> so we're going to sing him happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear, dear Billy, Billy Boy. Uh, happy birthday, birthday to <laughs> you. <laughs> Bop. Hey. Bop. Hey. Bop. Hey. He's 67 today. Checks, so we just checks on the mark. But well, they told me he's 75. I believe them. <laughs> you get some new glasses, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, <laughs> uh, well, I hope that your day is going swimmingly well, Councillor Bill. Get to bus in all those people. Yeah, say happy right. birthday to Feeling you. like 75. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 uh, right. Have we got a call? He's younger than us. Right. Okay. Uh, moving on to item 11, we have got a procedural item here from Development Auckland. Um, Rose. Oh, oh, second. Uh, well, I'll move. Uh, no, Councillor P. H. will move it. Councillor George will second it. Uh, Rose, anything that you would like to report? Thanks. This is a sort of a omnibus. Uh, one thing, councillors, is just to note that you're not actually delegating anything additional. This is just simply a procedural. There's no new delegations in this, no new powers, no new approvals. It's just simply confirmation so that we can make the transition nice and easy and smooth. Got it. Right. Any debate or discussion? I'll move it. All those in favour say aye. 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 Against, passed. Um, right, a referendum on alternative transport funding working party and I want to acknowledge the working party of Councillor George in the chair, Councillor Cuthair, <laughs> Councillor Chris D, oh, Councillor Crum, absent and Councillor Wayne. Uh, and um, looks like you've um, given it uh, appropriate and due consideration. You've got a referendum, a uh, recommendation there. Uh, and uh, team, Marguerite. Um, councillors, a uh, couple of months ago there was a resolution of the governing body to form a working party to look at the option to run a referendum on transport options at the same time as the next elections. And we got the governing, uh, the working party together and Josh, to my left, explained to the working party the next steps and timing uh, for uh, discussions with the government on um, funding of transport options. As a result of um, the explanations that Josh gave, the working party agreed that uh, it wouldn't be feasible to uh, run a referendum at the same time as the next election, mainly for timing issues. So the recommendation, and, and if you have any more questions about that, I'm sure Josh can answer them. So the recommendations of the working party are that the uh, referendum not be held, but um, that we can provide further advice as discussions with central government and transport options continue. Very good. So, Councillor George, um, so I presume that there would have been a reasonable discussion around the fact that uh, we, we actually need to get um, a, a position or something or other from the government as to whether or not they're even prepared to countenance this uh, before um, we go to the idea of a referendum. You've got there a second recommendation which basically covers off that possibility. Yeah. Uh, so it keeps the thing alive for any future discussion depending on the outcome of our discussions with the government. Okay, so, Councillor George, is that I'll, about right? I'll, yeah, I'll move the recommendation. Okay, that's good. Do we have a seconder? Okay. Councillor Carthy will second. I, I, I wanted to see oh, you want to say, okay. Councillor Arthur will second. Oh, okay. um, Councillor Cathy. It was just um, when there's the opportunity, we discuss the idea that the, the government might be interested in a referendum as well, because it's... Yeah, it's, well, they could. So, so th they may be interested in sharing the cost. Oh, oh. Ah. Well, I don't know, someone better be. It's a goodie. So uh, Mind if it's the not opportunity arises... Mind you, it's $56 million dollars for a flag referendum, so, I mean, it's, you know, could be worse. So I think your item B covers that off, doesn't it, Councillor Cathy? Yeah. Yeah, so good. any opportunity arises that yep. we sheet home the fact that you might be interested to the government in the result of the referendum too. Oh, therefore, we'll all be a part of those shared. discussions anyhow. Uh, Councillor Wayne. Sure, I just um, make the observation around around B, which really goes to public engagement, and I would suggest the 
need on our part to better inform Aucklanders? Because my view was that what we went out in the LTP was very limited, essentially just giving people a choice of tolls or rates and fuel tax, and uh, frankly, I think um, the outcome that you get from that is almost preordained. We need to do a much better job of informing the public as to options, looking at other options and engaging with them. So yeah. I certainly support the B that's here. Yep. Anything else? <laughs> right, I'll move that. All those in favour say aye. 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 It's against. No. Oh, thank you. You'll it against. Right, uh, that's passed. Um, now, can we... Um, I now want to move the exclusion of the public. Uh, for all of those reasons set out in there, uh, do I have a seconder? Uh, Councillor Linda, all those in favour say aye. 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 It's against passed. Uh, right, we'll uh, include... We've got uh, Cummy. Cummy was going to come and speak on item C2.